All right, hi folks. What we have here is the Joe Hero Medieval Cheese Press. Although I'm guessing that they did not have PVC pipe back in medieval times. Here's how this thing works. This is just absolutely wonderful. We've had it. We had it in action, and it works even better than I thought it might. It's very simplistic. There's no mechanisms that need to be worried about breaking, or there's nothing that needs to worry about uh, sticking, or stuff wearing out or an exact weight being on your cheese. So here's how this works. And it, I can't take credit of course for this design. This is something that I've seen somebody else do but they just did it a little bit less effectively than I made here. If you were going to make say a smaller batch of cheese within maybe four, four pounds worth of cheese or less, you can take a single cylinder and they're made from four inch PVC and three inch PVC pipe pieces. So what we have here is just a coupler this is just a standard four inch coupler. Um, this is Douglas fir 2x10 planking, which I took a four inch hole saw and cut three holes in. Mounted this three quarter inch by 18 inch long pipe nipples on each side. This is going to work for your sliding mechanism. And you take the four inch coupler and it straddles neatly the four inch hole. We have the four inch cutouts from the fur right here, although we did, I did sand them down with a belt sander and a half inch drill, a great big drill, and I sanded them down so that they're smaller. What you need is that the plunger has to be just a little bit, have a little bit of play within that pipe. Not to mention if it gets damp it can expand since it's wood. Alright, so it takes apart like this and you have a four inch floor drain that inserts in the PVC pipe as well. Then you take the four inch coupler, it, it straddles a hole. This I had to sand down the four inch pipe so that it actually, uh, in addition to the edge, edge of the four, uh, floor drain, this, this fits in here and what's going to happen is, is you have a nice straining mechanism to drain the whey from your cheese. This then fits nicely in here, all the way down and seats against the inside of the coupler. Straddles the hole. You take your cheesecloth and you have your cheese in your cheesecloth and you set it down inside the mold. And then you take one of these plastic discs and chase it down with a four inch plunger. The reason I put the plastic disc on is just to make it a little bit neater for use with the wood. And what we're doing is we're just using parts that we that normally would be throwaway the cutouts from the planking are now going to become the plunger for the piston. And that just goes down on top of here, on top of the cheese. The three inch piece of PVC comes down in here like this and it's going to press down. You have a neat little piston mechanism in there. You take the top, slide it over the pipe nipples. And here's the trick. This is just, um, th this is just done neatly enough. The holes are, have a lot of play in here. So these three quarter inch holes are actually bored by uh, a one and an eighth inch bit so that there's play and you need that play and what you just do is take standard weights or if you've got anything that you know the weight of, I don't care if it's a jug of water or something, you can set it right in the middle or right on each side in the case of just using standard weight bench weights and weight your cheese. And that piston presses nicely directly down. This thing will straddle a pan or a bucket and the whey just comes right out the hole and goes out in the bucket to be discarded or to be reused in another project of some sort for culinary delight. And then finally, what one can do, if you're going to make two sets of cheese, you would use the outside cylinders like this and straddle it, put the top on, pressing down evenly on both. And if you want to make an industrial amount of cheese, and we've never maxed this out yet because it's just newly been used, um, you can use three pistons here and you could make, my guess is, probably up to 12 pounds or more of cheese at a time. This is very unique. I'm pretty proud of this. Because it's so simple, nothing can ever go wrong with it. This thing should be around a long, long time. And there you have it. A medieval cheese press.